Good morning, folks. Today I'm going to be brutally honest and give NASA a mega slap for lying. We'll hit NOVA and electromagnetic biology as well, but we're starting with our star. And we find the last 24 hours had eruptive activity top left and bottom right. Not aimed at Earth, but a solid set of activity that forces us to pay more attention to the Earth-facing sunspots. Here are the eruptions again in 304 angstroms. Gorgeous plasma filament activity. Eyes will focus on the bright points on the north turning in today. Meanwhile, solar wind has calmed along with geomagnetic conditions, but the enhanced plasma stream from the central coronal hole will arrive this weekend. Good potential to spark aurora and geomagnetic activity. Okay, NASA, the best part of having several of your scientists email me regularly is knowing when you plan to disingenuously hit back on a recent video of mine, in this case the ozone videos from two days ago. They claimed yesterday in an article that the ozone hole continues to shrink. Fascinating, since both you and NOAA have recently put out articles on recent large ozone holes. The ESA discussed this recently as well, describing the exceptionally large holes in both 2020 and 2021, and how this year the hole was matching those exceptionally large marks. So when you post something like this, it really is a slap in the face lie to those who keep up with the data, including your own. You can't get away with this anymore, at least not with observers. Up next is a fantastic piece on a nova the astronomers don't understand. Supposed to be a classical nova on fantastically long time scale, but it's repeated its outbursting in short order, and in a unique way. The team describes a completely new and unexpected type of astronomical outburst event, and the attempts to rectify the fact that they don't know nova continue. Lastly, from the journals, tying errors by aviation personnel to electromagnetic fields and space radiation is not surprising, but it reminds us that this is an ongoing and increasing issue as Earth's magnetic field changes in the ongoing excursion and radiation levels uptick by the day. Welcome to a window into a major problem of the near-term future. Got super short notice on this one here, folks, but the local pumpkin patch will be hosting the observers on Saturday. It's a casual meetup for anyone in the Colorado Springs area that is great for the whole family. If you are in the area, bring yourselves out so we can mingle and enjoy the day before winter comes charging into the fold. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.